Hi and welcome back to another uh, Hot Wheels slash Auto World slash M2 visual on the pegs uh, Walmart across three states. Here I have a. Uh, hey, we've already seen these on the last video. They're M2 hookers, uh, Coca Cola, uh, you know, holiday vans. It's like they're overran with these things. It seems like at every other Walmart. Uh, it's just I'm looking through <clears throat> pretty much everything I have no clue what this is I don't think this is a real car it says it's a fair lady or whatever but it's not uh, the fair lady Z it's, I think this is a fictional car Hot Wheels has put out it looks a little bizarre I don't know I could be wrong if you know uh, leave a comment down below I still look like somebody was hiding it there I don't know I could be wrong but I don't think it fell because it's on the wrong side of the store the kid could have picked it up and did something I was actually looking at it because it has stripe on the hood <clears throat> another gentleman said if they have stripes on the hood that it's usually the first tell sign that it's a treasure hunt but I don't see no real writers on it or spectral paint or nothing that I see that just stands out here's some Johnny Lightning same Ford uh, boss. I think that's the boss from the other store. I just see a lot of repeats. You notice it. <clears throat> it almost looks like you're in the same Walmart and you're three states over. And Johnny Lightning, though, seems to be selling well at Walmart because <clears throat> they don't stay on the pegs too long. There's a whole bunch of M2s. I'm about to rummage through them looking for gold chases not necessarily to collect it or anything i'm not into m twos um i just want to find one and there's a fair lady hmm i know someone on here it's a larger uh die cast channel is really into those fair lady z's well yeah, it's going back down though um i don't know personally i'm just the m twos just don't do it for me i mean they do have some decent detail I'm not going to say I don't collect them. I did get uh, the Edinburgh. I've gotten that uh, Camaro and a kit. Uh, here I'm just sifting through. I just want to find a gold chase so I can put it on video and say, ha ha, like a memory, I found a gold chase. Um, it'd have to be something awesome. I'm a huge uh, Mopar <clears throat> collector. You know, the Roadrunners. Uh, nine yards anything dodge from a muscle car era that's my thing <clears throat> but um i'll show you here in a minute as to what i see a lot of with these m2s and it's a major reason i don't collect them they just <clears throat> they fall apart there's another fair lady that's a nice looking one <clears throat> i like them the fair lady i talk about the dots and not the m2s i just don't really collect that many of them it's not my thing i'm a mopar guy when it comes to you know american muscle however later i am gonna get some tuners but back to what i was saying i'm just basically ripping everything out looking for a gold chase but uh i don't really buy too many of these m2s i don't want to hurt anybody's feelings because i know everybody has die cast uh favorites but here You'll see it in the video. I pick one up and I encounter this a lot. <clears throat> they have parts just falling off of them. That's a, that's a cool graphic on the van. I will <clears throat> pick them up and the hoods will be on the, inside, on the floor inside the container. Tail lights will be missing or uh, just random things. It's just the parts fall off of them and you ain't even walked out the store with them. So, uh, I'm kind of hesitant. It's made me uh, really, really hesitant about buying them. The fact that they fall apart. But they do, I'm not going to lie, they do make some really uh, good detail. Or they put some really good detail into their die cast. But uh, I'm sifting through it just to see what's there. Something I might go, oh yeah, I'm going to take that. It's Mopar awesome, but... And their Mopar also seems to be 
pretty much repeat they just do different graphics different colors and uh, what not I uh, was a little bit disappointed with this Walmart but I found a little surprise I had already opened those two boxes on the top shelf they were on the pallet in the middle there was no M2's in the pallet or anything but um I cut them open. I'm not being sneaky or anything. I just stuck them up there because I cut them open. I looked inside. I'm not very well uh, versed. I have this right here, this Porsche. I actually liked it. It's pretty cool. I've countered the Nova. Didn't get it once, but I should have. See, here's what I'm talking about. Bree Dotson. There's that Mustang again, which I've never seen it before, but this has got to be like the third time I run into it. The off-road vehicles and Hot Wheels. I don't really know anybody to be uh, in the in the community, the Hot Wheels community on Instagram or anywhere else to be <clears throat> trading or knowing what to look out for that they might be interested in, um, that they may or may not see on the pegs. Well, probably may not see on the pegs at their store. But most of the stuff just seems to be repeat. It don't matter where I go, it's repeat. So it's, you know, if it ain't the people working there, yeah, how these dudes just waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. I've seen their videos where, you know, they <clears throat> live in same spot and in and out the store, in and out the store, in and out the store waiting. I've seen um, this Mad TV one, the one I just put down, but I have not seen this one before. That's the first time I've seen that one warming up the pig. I was contemplating, I don't know if I should get it or not, but it's way off skill and it's uh, it's one of their graphic deals. There, I'm looking at that uh, BMW. I'm thinking about taking one of these, or two, maybe three, taking the wheels off of them, using them for uh, CRX or you know something else because of the real riders. I may just get some off of eBay. I'm looking at this bubble gum, bubble gum, yum yum. Who wants a bubble gum? That thing is just, I don't know, I see it everywhere. It's a cool looking car. I'm not going to say it's not. Some of these high wheels, though, is the names that they put on them is just comical it's a Larry Wood that, that's a cool little car I mean it's cool but um <clears throat> basically looking to see if I see like a treasure hunt it's wanted to find either a treasure hunt or gold chase you know something like that just to find it get it on film depending on what it is I probably wouldn't even take it um one two uh tickled about anything I've seen here. I didn't really find anything that, you know, it's out of the norm. Oh, that one particular vehicle that just catches your eye. However, um, I believe it's either this one, no, either this one or the next one. I go through a bin and I, uh, that fair lady, that 300Z, I uh, actually take it. Uh, but I didn't get it at the first store. That first one, I didn't even tell y'all where it was from. It was from Texas. But right here, that car right there, I don't know, it looks like a lowrider. That's pretty cool looking. Like this one, yeah, that's pretty cool looking. But I'm like, I have to get the whole set. And it's got this car. It looks like a scorpion with a tail on it. I don't know. I'm just not into fantasy car and I've cars. I'd be stuck with a bunch of fantasy cars. to get two cars that look pretty cool. But they're not going to have tail lights or headlights or any kind of detail. And I'm just not into detailing or uh, doing any of that kind of stuff yet. Customizing. I may try to get into it later because definitely gonna have to do some one of my tuners. You know, I gotta get me a little tuner collection going. CRVs, you know, hatchbacks, uh, Integras, stuff like that going on. But I've seen some of the larger dudes out here. They uh, buying Kyosho and uh, TLV, and I have no clue what that orange car is. It looks like a could it be a, an attempt at a McLaren. I don't know. But it didn't have headlights. So I was like, nah. And the wheels are like, nah. It's like they don't really put too much effort. And someone snagged. Oh, this was funny. Someone snagged some cars out of there. But watch this. When I shake the box, they left the Golf in there. I mean, if I was a Hot Wheels collector, I'd be going after that Golf, not just jerking something up out of there and leaving it. But anyways, I here are the box, the two cases I found. I know pretty much about Hot Wheels. Some of y'all maybe later if you watch my videos can help me. I believe they have to have Spectra Flame. Um, they'll have real riders, which I heard is difficult to know just by looking at the vehicle itself. But um, mainly the paint job's gonna stick out. That 
uh, what's that called, a bone crusher? That looks pretty cool. I seen it. I googled it. And it's pink, like a what's that called, spectra flame pink. It looks pretty cool. So I know what it looks like. There, I found the chrome van. I've seen those before in the dump bins and everywhere else. And I don't think the employee was actually hiding these. They were just sitting on a on a pallet. And I don't think they put them up just due to the fact that they had a bunch of them already hanging. And if I'm not mistaken, they had a little bitty band at the end. I went through it, it wasn't that much in it. There was no, uh, well, for me, anyways, anything I said, oh, yeah, spectacular, gotta get it. But here I'm just sifting through, looking for maybe a treasure hunt, just <clears throat> glancing over with my eye. That's an interesting one there in that Florida Escort. That's the same one they did that uh, Fast and the Furious in, which is just a cheesier version with an orange plastic bottom and Hot Wheels. I, the, the real reason I don't collect Hot Wheels, I do collect them, but they don't put a lot of detail on them, but I stay away from them because I just don't like that little flag that says Hot Wheels or their banner, their logo on the side of the vehicle. I kind of feel like it takes away from it and turns it right back into a fantasy car instead of something more realistic. Mm -hmm. Look what I found right there. Tuner. Okay. <laughs> Tuner. Yep. Later I'll make attempts at uh, painting these and you know customizing them myself. I may do a video on it, but it's going to be a while before I do something like that. Porsche. Porsche. Mm, fine German engineering. Mm-hmm some real riders yeah I can see that right there going somewhere uh -huh. yeah I'm sifting through just getting an idea of what they're gonna have out because <clears throat> I will I'm gonna want some exotics but I kind of cured my exotics later at I think it's this Walmart in Kentucky and this buggy right here I walk away from it I've seen it twice it's really cool looking though I have that dumb beetle from uh green light and that farm truck but uh this thing's cool looking it's only like I think 90 cents I put it back I'm like eh, whatever you know uh, here I go I'm gonna put it back up there yay put it back for whoever else comes looking maybe there's something in there they like um I checked that this almost looks similar to my other video it's so ironic how uh, these Walmarts they all look just the same and especially in their cars or die cast section they just I can't explain it but uh more matchbox more matchbox mm, more matchbox uh, there's it I admit I'm kind of conflicted about matchbox they do really really good on some of their cars and then it's just their bumpers and it's plastic and it's gray instead of being chrome and I'm like if they just done it but I was looking at that car right there is it's headlights tail lights it's well detailed some of their stuff is just really really good detail for 90 cents they're crushing hot wheels on the detail and some of their stuff is it's like wow this would have been a spectacular car if they just added some chrome look at that look at that drill boom Headlights, boom, look at that, popping, tail lights, license plate, that's a Euro plate. Yeah, I'm kind of skimming through. Yeah, looking kind of a disappointing, but I scored yesterday. Auto World's a big surprise to me. I think I made out with like six cars in the end. And <clears throat> I left some because I'm not, it's not not certain dude is for sure you know slapping them up could have been hidden hiding them he could be collecting himself so you know uh, i want to be a pig and like everybody else just because i've seen him doing it but i have a funny feeling yeah they, they in on it too because they're these guys that go in there and take stuff off the pallets they talk to the employees I know they do because I asked them at one Walmart once, you know, hey, when do you guys bring this stuff out? Oh, uh, different times, different times. They constantly come in at different times. And then he knew about a gold chase. 
I asked him about him. She said, say, yeah, you're looking for a gold chase. I'm like, you know, how does he know? Because whoever comes in, they ask him. And they probably tell him, not thinking. And then these guys do their research and go, oh, yeah, I'm going to sell it online. I keep checking out this M2 car hauler, auto hauler. I like it. It's got that Christmas thing, Santa drinking a soda, the white walls, like two of those facing each other in front of the TV during Christmas. I'm thinking they'd look cool. I am um, kind of holding out in case I see something, I don't know, like spectacular. And I'm like, well, yeah, I got to get a bunch of these. <laughs> It's, it's an assortment, not the same car. This is a very bizarre car. It looks familiar, but I just can't place it. Some of their stuff is just, it's fantasy, like the hot dog wagon, and the wheelie. Is it the wheelie wheelchair or whatever that is? I mean, it is funny. It's cool. I mean, it's creative. They put some kind of talent behind it, mental wise. Oh, yeah, look at that. CRX, CRX, CRX. <laughs> yep. Ooh, there's a Porsche again. Yep. Yep. I'm easily distracted. I'm not a hater, not a Hot Wheels hater. But I definitely am a Dodge hater. Dodge fans. Woo! Ooh, Chevy. Yeah, there you go. See, now that's a class right there. Chevy. Sorry, Dodge fans. I only like the cars, not the trucks. <laughs> Just kidding, guys. I didn't like the bumper on it. It was plastic. This orange car I keep seeing in this pack almost everywhere I go. I'm so tempted to buy the whole thing because I have no clue what that orange car is. I know it ain't a Lambo. At least I don't think it is. I think it's their attempt at a McLaren, some style of McLaren. I'm not sure which one. But, uh, yeah. I'm just checking out the packs. Because you never know, there might be a chase up there in that little window. Ooh, look at that. Man, what is up with that? They're putting them out like crazy. Tuners. There they are again. This just seems to be repeats. frustrated I, I, uh, it's kind of hoping see what I do is I try to hit Walmart if I know like I'm going to a certain area that are small and secluded I got one of these already I collected a couple of the 50th anniversary deals sitting on real riders look good this this was actually well done the econo van it has headlights tail lights it was cool but I already have one <clears throat> but I noticed they got a whole rack of them sitting there if they had been the uh, Gasser, oh boy, not the pink one, but the black one, the Kroger, which is another thing I don't know. Maybe I'll do some Krogers, uh, put them up. HEBs in Texas also they carry a lot of uh, green light. They also carry those uh, little uh, matchboxes that come in the actual matchbox, come in the actual cardboard. I don't know what they're called. They're like eighty cents, but um. I think I might start putting up some of those hunts too. Um, ring light. I, it never occurred to me to put these up so people could see it. But uh, mainly I was putting them up because I'm like, what if I do find it? Why don't I put some of this stuff up just to document for myself what came out? This golf Fiat I've seen everywhere. It's almost like they discriminate against this poor guy. I almost wanted to buy him out of sympathy. Uh, I see him hanging it seems like always it's just one of them just hanging there like nobody wanted him he looks so neglected there we go uh-huh look at that Hot Wheels and there's one from uh, Matchbox uh, I was as a kid I never played with Matchboxes I actually played with Hot Wheels like pretty much everyone else I just felt like Hot Wheels looked cooler to me I don't know it just could be my thing. Look at that golf. Uh, I really like that, that that Volkswagen. We used to go out in the snow and do donuts and one like that with the muffler sticking out the back. Yeah, it was fun. Uh, wasn't mine. I was just a little kid. 
but <clears throat> my cousin, he is older, he'd take us out and do donuts in the snow and a Volkswagen like that with big old pump. There's a super fast. Some I've already seen this one over and over. I've seen the blue Range Rover. But that's pretty much all I've seen as far as the super fast. They do wipe out pretty quick and I admit they have some decent detail. Uh that's for that somebody. Look at that big old big old Z for you there, buddy. If you ever do watch my videos. <laughs> Yeah, that's a big M2. That's a big old Z. Yeah, here's some more of those uh, M2 haulers. I have no idea why they would put Moon Eyes on that. On JDM. They put Moon Eyes on JDM. Wow. Um, you know, that's kind of baffling. It looks cool. There's that pink Pez. I googled that pink Pez truck. Supposedly it's, it's uh, pretty rare. Supposedly, according to you know, M2 standards, but um, uh, I don't know. Not my thing. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Yep. Nope. Scared the hood might fall off. See, there it is. That's what I'm talking about. In the box, tail lights and rear bumper. Can y'all see that? Just sitting there on the deck inside the box. Yeah, nah. No, thank you. Mm, yeah, I will admit, they do good detail. Look at that. Mustang fans, there you go. Look at the detail of that. Really good. Somebody punched it in the eyeball in case you missed that. Um, back it up and take a peek. Yeah, mm -hmm, that's my thing right there. Yeah, it's just awesome. Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Mopar, let's get in. Floor it. Yeah. I really do like their, their cars. They do do good detail. I think their biggest flaw is all the moving parts. I, When I do buy them, I try to go for the driver. Because, yeah. you know, it doesn't have all these opening doors and opening stuff I think some of them the hoods do open them but it's less opening parts which means less stuff that's going to fall off the car but these these ones here and the I just got caught up on Coca-Cola looking for that red grill like I can't tell if it's chrome right the, the wheels are chrome red like yeah huh so I gotta check the grill just to make sure well I lost my train of thought there but um, yeah the the drivers they don't really put out too much or if they do you're not really gonna catch it on the pegs unless you're and they're stocking and stocking the, <laughs> the pallets when they come in they have done overkill with that that stupid you know, but crap what is with those uh, that right there. Is that, that man? I like that. Man. But they've just done they've done like green light did with that uh bus is just overkill. We constantly see them in this tow truck, they've done it in everything. I still think the detail on that looks cool. Uh, still looks cool. Where well, they got it slammed down and rims on it. It, look, it does look showing you here is no uh, auto wall run more hookers they got two hookers Hayes hello Hayes and I thought about taking that because once again it's the driver probably just the hood opens so don't worry about falling parts falling off I'm not a big Corvette fan sorry kind of interesting a little bit just because I'm not familiar with this gasket company it may be made up just for decal on the vehicle itself looks pretty decent and it's it's pretty good
you gotta kind of tap out and move on. Yeah. King Kuda. Yeah. Actually, it looks pretty cool. Man, I'm not ready to kill people. For being a Hot Wheels in the dump bin, it looked pretty cool, man. The King Kuda looked pretty cool. And there it is. This thing is infamous. A lot of people like it, and I have to admit, it does look pretty cool. It almost looks like a 1930s Ford. Just looks cool the way those pipes stick out. Here I really go through this thing. I think they done overkill. Eh, correct, eh. I think they done overkill on this. This is like three dump bins. And I just started losing it. I got excited. I'm like, I'm definitely going to find a, a treasure hunt in here. And eh, let's just look. More creators. Get real frustrated. There it is. I seen this on the pigs in my first uh, video down in Texas. I'm like, I'm definitely gonna get this because it's gonna go in my tuners when I when I finally do customize, make a customized video. Ah, this 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 thing. I swear they've just took this casting and they have went crazy with it. Accurate. See what I'm saying? They have this thing in uh, Advan and they have it now. They put it out in the blue drift car. It's just it's everywhere. I think it must be a new casting of theirs. I'm not a huge, once again, uh, Hot Wheels follower. I am on their uh, BMW. Not bad. Well, they put a plate on it. Look at the tail lights. Look at that grill, headlights, front plate. 90 cents. Not a bad deal. Uh, fantasy car. Uh, I am part of their Red Line Club. But I can't be honest, <laughs> Spectra Flame, Spectra Flame, Spectra Flame. Everybody makes a big deal out of the Spectra Flame thing. Mm, up until recently, though, I'll have to admit, they are doing really good details on their Red Line Club cars. This thing is just mind blowing. It's so freaking cool. Look at the front end on it. If it only looked like it did on the car door in the front but <clears throat> it doesn't it looks pretty awesome it looks like a 1940s uh, gas truck just ready to go and there it is again it's like it's calling me take me home take me home some people are going to get upset but that's also known in the video game as a fair lady just like the um, Datsun that means on there is also known as the fair lady I don't know, maybe some people do know. But uh, I'm just sifting and sifting and sifting. I kind of, uh, I'm like, do I really, should I really go through all this? And I just start plucking up stuff, flipping cards, looking at it. And sorry, guys, I kind of took it out of your view. I'm throwing it over there on a shelf. It's another bone crusher. I kind of was going to actually walk away. I was like, this is just too much. I didn't bring a shopping cart to dump all this in. That's that city, is it city hopper or whatever it's called. Little helicopter. Yeah. I've seen it a couple times. And I'm like, nah, I don't collect stuff that's flying. Like Starship Enterprise or anything like that. Because they don't put that out. Battlestar Galactica. Wow, that was... Ooh way back in the day i'm surprised people even know who that is or i mean know what it is what show it's from because it's not that i'm aware of it hasn't been out on tv in ages it was pretty cool looking it was very bizarre but it's still cool looking and mainly these are <laughs> like some other guy said i ain't got clout chase bathroom toys but here I found a Lambo and I was actually kind of impressed with it it's got tail lights the wheels are not the greatest but I could do something with it headlights and I'm like yep definitely gonna take it I take that and the fair lady I actually keep them both it ain't no Countach but it's a Lambo nonetheless Italian German and tuners is what I gotta work on here also so I figure you know Hot Wheels pull out an airbrush customize do some real wide real riders do some detail but um 
that's in the way future. Um, right now, I'm just waiting on the, my auto world to come in. I got that, uh, getting that, uh, what is this? Hot dog, hot dog cart. Yeah, I got the new uh, square body pickups. I was waiting on those to come out. I got, got a case of that. <clears throat> Not all of the trucks, but you know, one of the cases that comes with the truck. I may open that in a video and show y'all. But uh, I'm just kind of surprised that I'm seeing some of these Hot Wheels that I am seeing because I've not really seen them before. Not at a Walmart where I did. But uh, I'm really digging through this. I kind of. Uh, Took it away from the camera. There's a bubble gum, bubble gum, bubble gum, and that was from. If you watch this from the beginning, actually, a different store. These things are everywhere, and I don't really think people are buying it. I think it's another casting Hot Wheels that just went overboard with. It's like certain castings, if they're new or <clears throat> they do them and <clears throat> it's popular, they'll just mass produce them. And it's kind of weird. I kind of uh, edit my videos because. <clears throat> and I take the sound out. People talk to me and all kinds of stuff while I'm going through this. I had a kid come up and uh, he goes, excuse me, mister. And I'm like, yes. Have you seen a red and blue car? And I'm like, a red and blue car? He's like, yeah. Like, well, what kind of car are you looking for? Look at that. Combi bus. Combi bus. Uh -huh. I know a lot of people like these. Later, if uh, they notice me or whatever, Cause there's a few people actually there's two guys out here that collect those that live in my area but i have no idea how to contact them and i'm not gonna go on their channel and be all hey blah, 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 blah. nah i'll give it time but uh yeah anyways the kid was like you know we're uh, uh i'm looking for a red and blue car i'm like well it's they want to tell him dude that's like specific there's all kinds of red and blue cars out here like what do you want so i just started pulling cars out here you go that's red and blue that's red and blue that's red and blue and I started throwing them over there in the corner where I was stacking them. He went away. I ended that part out. And uh, later his mom came over to and she was digging through. I ended that out. Then we'll come back to the bin. Did it again. Um, there's people talking all around. I am uh, really going through this. If you can't tell. But I got that Queen of Hearts already. I really like that. I thought that was really good. Uh, and right here's what got me. Look at this. Jolly Roger. I've never seen that in a Walmart. That, that Nova Gasser. Not even that cheap wheels, you know, with the cheap plastic bottom. And I think a meal went at first. I, this, this really causes me to start digging hard. Because I'm like, if I find that, yeah, you can see one right there. Straight down, right there. Blue. But uh, I'm like, if I find that thing in a treasure hunt, that would be freaking awesome. But uh, I find six of them. See, there's two. And there's another one straight down. And I find like six of them, I take them up front. But here I've dug almost through the bottom. And I took stuff from the other bin and dumped it in there. And I found another one of those gas trucks. I dropped, dropped the car on the floor, picked it up. Here I find another bin. I decided to go through it because this 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 Walmart right here this it's in Kentucky it had a three big dump bins in the back and it had this up front I have no idea what this car is but I've seen it but I don't think it's that great I don't think the detail on it's that well I believe as a matter of fact one of the big channels he had that in a uh, what did he call it mini GT I believe that's what that is and he had a it had like a rubber mirror or something for an end of it, but I'm not positive I could be wrong. This right here would have been cool. I think I messed it up with the wheels. No detail on the back. It had some on the front, but that's too much. Nah. Nah. I felt like they were just sloppy with it. Wham bam, here you go. No treasure hunt. No treasure hunt. I think I wouldn't even take in this. It was something I really, really liked. I just 
just record it. Ha ha, found a treasure hunt. Move on. It'd have to be like a Mopar or a nice tuner, gasser, something like that, you know. I really honestly think that <clears throat> the only vehicle I really like that they make is their gasser. I know I've seen their channel. They're going to put out a, a Skyline and this and that. But sorry, their Skyline is not going to be the, not even a Kyosho. And here we are. Okay, I was backwards. That other one was Tennessee Walmart. And this is Kentucky. And I found a Lightning. Ford Lightning. By Matchbox. And <clears throat> they have some Matchboxes here. Um, I'm just panning and scanning, panning and scanning is, this is actually pretty much the same, it's all the same, pretty much all the same, Sleeping Beauty, that's how I'm, <laughs> I'm able to tell, occasionally they'll have a vehicle that the other one didn't have, but it's not like, Oh my goodness, you know, I gotta have it. Uh, I thought about buying that, the track. Just setting up somewhere in the middle of the and letting those things just roll, roll. I've had a couple ideas on that. But here I found something. I'll show you on a minute. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Ooh, look at that. That is the fourth time I found that this week. And I didn't film it. I wanted to film it. I found that drag strip. I was actually going to buy it, but I got to looking at it. Plastic bottom, cheesy wheels. Yeah, I know. I could strip it down or whatever. Not my thing. I expect them to put out the work. If they're legitimately just putting that car in there, knowing somebody's going to buy that just for the car, put in the work. You're trying to get us to spend the extra money. Put in the work. Put some Hoosier tires on that sucker. Some paint. You know, slap a $5 price tag on it. I mean, if you put in the work, you should get paid. Yeah, right. I think they're just trying to uh, make their money, I guess, off of kids in general. Grabbing these things up as toys. Which is what they legitimately are. These are toys. Look at that. Uh -huh. Yep. We do it. Very nice. Uh -huh. yeah. uh, it's pretty cool, but I don't get what's with these rims. It seems like they're putting on everything. If they ain't red, gold, or silver. Hey, I don't know what you call those, but it seems like they put on everything. I could probably go back and I could make a hundred videos of these showing you hot wheels and it seems like those particular wheels are on everything. I don't I don't get it. There we go. I don't really find anything here. I'm not gonna pretend like I did. Some of this is if you guys just wanna watch and look just to see so you don't feel like uh, it's only you. This is this is pretty much standard. You have people that go in and they just stock. It ain't just you. At your Walmart, they're doing this everywhere. And most of them are just doing it to sell. I I know. You you'll see them, and you think, oh yeah, they're collecting. No, they're sitting on it, slapping it up on there, and asking retarded prices. But anyways, there's some super fast again. The red beans that caught my interest. It's a cool excavator. Back hole. Sorry for you construction guys. Don't want to tick you off. But it's a nice. Uh, it's a nice Jeep there too. Uh, Fair Lady Z. Is that Z? The Dotson Z. Look at this. What's this? Johnny Light. Uh, oh, yellow. Haha. Uh -huh. How about a different color? Finally, everything seems to be blue or green. Finally, a yellow card. <laughs> I'm just joking. Uh, I, I was literally drooling over this because it's a 69 Cornet. 
I wished it was a 69 Corn Dodge Cornet Super V. That those of you that know what I'm talking about, there, you know, that's the car. 69 Super V. That that when I pulled down right now, they were actually trying to hide it in behind some cheesier ones, so I set it down on the bottom for them. They'll see it. But, uh, some of y'all, if you're hiding your stuff, hide it good. Don't hide it in this same mile where the cars are. And not everybody's gonna be nice like me and come along and just, oh, somebody's stashing that. Mm -hmm. They're hiding it. Uh, and, and leave it. I was kind of disappointed with the M2s here. And there's polluted with the Coca-Colas. I mean, polluted. It's contaminating their Coca-Cola M2s. I literally just walk away from this. I'm like frustrated. Should I get this? What do y'all think? I'm, I know what I'm going to do. I'll build me up some uh, 90s styles tuners, you know, from back in the day, early 2000s, late 90s. Uh, here's their bands. They have, I think it's two or three tiny ones, and somebody come in there, they just rummage this thing. I mean, they tore it up. I didn't leave much of anything. So going through it, contemplating, seeing if I find some tuners. I, I knew I wasn't going to find a treasure hunter there. This is a very interesting one here. Let's see what I'm I'm not seeing it. Yeah. I'm not believing it. The reason I'm looking at that is because I believe that. This is what that orange car is in that big pack. That's a Sideways. I probably should have just edited this part out. I just have this feeling like, hey, we're going to make anything on there. If there was, I would have picked the camera up and been like, there's a wheelie wheelchair I was talking about. They do come up with some creative things for some other stuff. I mean, it is a little bit comical. Yeah, Tesla. They did okay. I've seen a few of these Teslas and they really look horrible. That one looks okay. That's Tail lights, headlights. This, oh, look at that. There's that. I don't know what the heck this car is. That is. It's I don't know. I think they're making stuff up now. Same price, you know, the pegs. purpose of this just mainly just to show you all that mm, the, all these Walmarts even out of your city look the same 